last Coast to Coast, we took you to New Orleans for the famed Jazz and Heritage Festival. While we were there, we saw all kinds of music at the festival, but we didn't feature Zydeco music because we wanted it to have its own special moment. The father of this gumbo blend of rock, Indian, and French music was Clifton Chenier, who died recently of a kidney ailment that kept him down, but not out. The music that he started is in wonderful hands and is being nurtured by such disciples as Queen Ida, Rockin' Doopsy, Zachary Richard, and a host of others. But one group, Beausoleil, led by Michael Doucet, is special. Mixing Zydeco with jazz, Creole, and medieval French music, Beausoleil has taken what Clifton Chenier began years ago and moved it to a new musical place. If Beausoleil has a musical counterpart anywhere in the world, it might be the legendary Richard Thompson. In the late 60s, Richard helped found a distinguished English folk rock group, Fairport Convention. Mixing Celtic folk music with rock made the group one of the most influential of the time, and even today, groups such as U2 credit Richard and Fairport Convention as being instrumental in their own musical development. Richard's next projects were a series of albums with singer Linda Peters, albums that became classics of their own. In fact, two of their albums are on Rolling Stone's list of 100 top albums of the rock era. Recently, Michael Doucet and Richard Thompson brought their distinctive musical backgrounds together on a record that has just been released. While none of that special recording session was filmed, Coast to Coast helped put them together before Richard left to go back to England. We set up a date in Houston in front of an audience of Beausoleil fans, where Richard sat in with Michael and the boys. It was a very special night, and Coast to Coast now takes you there. to know what the feel of Tex-Mex music had on Cajun music. So uh, one night we just we just played Wooly Bully. We hadn't played this song in 20 years and I just I sang it in French and it, it worked real well. So sort of we got together and we did this album just because of this one song and this song is just, I don't know, it just seems to work.
music always played a strong part in uh, in our tradition because if if you're going to have a big celebration, let's say a crawfish boil or a big gumbo, you always have somebody there who can play an instrument. And everybody enjoys dancing and just kind of talking about the old songs and and where they came from, et cetera, like that. Uh, even on the first television that uh, station that came to Lafayette in 1957, they had a fado do on TV with Aldous Roger. So I mean, we, we we had the first TV videos back there, occasion videos back there. But it's always been a strong part, and the musicians are, are that part of our community that really hold the traditions down because the, the musicians are so hard-headed, they, they dare to change. They, they want, they have a certain story to tell and their stories is told by their music and by the participation of the audience. And I think that's, that's great. And I think it's because of the musicians, because they sing in French and usually they either know good cooks or they are good cooks, that our culture is going to survive. And the song is sort of a, it represents just a Louisiana Sunday afternoon, the way our long Sunday afternoons are. And uh, it's about missing someone and wanting to be with that person. Well, take it to me ah, Je pense à toi, chérie Tu connais Un dimanche après-midi Oh, la dernière rose ah, Comment je t'ai vu
first met Richard Thompson, this is pretty funny, for a jazz festival in New Orleans in, in the early 80s. And we were playing at a local bar called the Maple Leaf. And I turned to uh, Tommy Como, our bass player, and said, look at this guy. He must, he must win the Richard Thompson lookalike contest. <laughs> and then I saw Nancy Covey with him. I said, Nancy, who's, who's this guy with you? So oh, that's Richard Thompson. Then. The Richard Thompson. So it was from there. And so we went around. He came to hear us a couple of nights and danced to our music. And they came to visit us. And that's it. What was it like working with him? Oh, he's great. I mean, it's like... Uh, <laughs> What is it like working with him? Well, um, it's sort of like, what is it like learning from him is what it is. I mean, he's just, he's just a complete musician. And not only that, he's a complete person. He's, I think that's what I like the most about him. He's just a person, and he tries to be a person. He's a virtuoso in every manner of speaking of, of a musician. But I think his, his persona, his personality comes out in his guitar because he doesn't take anything just straight as it should be. He takes things like he sees it and develops it and then gives it back to you. I think that's a really beautiful way to do things. Stones and a sickle moon and the north wind races. One more night running my mind over lost embraces. The steps you made when you walked away, still frozen in the ground. Oh, mercy, how you let me down. Lies won't break my fall. Lies won't break my fall. Your food's still sitting there at the table where you used to be. The shape of you is still in the bed there next to me. Maybe I. Could find some trace of you to keep her on. Oh, Missy, how you let me down. Oh, Missy, how you let me down. For too long, you kept me waiting, reaching out into empty air. You really don't care And if you never like what I see Then why, why did you tie me in the dentist chair? Oh, you left your mark on this old place that you did I could stew in here like a pressure cooker And screw down the lid Maybe I should just take a match and burn the whole thing to the ground. Oh, Missy, how you let me down. Oh, Missy, how you let me down. Oh, Missy, how you let me down. turning away from popular music more and more and looking at uh, ethnic music and traditional music. Uh, popular music 
uh, is now dull, um, its texture is dull, it sounds the same, it, sound, it sounds bland, it's reached that point. And uh, traditional music it has much more vitality and much more variety. And people are listening to African music and they're listening to, to Cajun music, music from this area. They're listening to British traditional music as something far more rewarding to listen to. It's amazing to me to see the music so popular throughout America. Uh, like I said, I never considered even 10 years ago to be able to play this music th uh, for Amer American speaking or English speaking audiences throughout America. I just never thought they would be interested because it was always, well, there's these funny people who live in Louisiana who speak funny and live funny and eat funny food. But now they've kind of discovered this and see, hey, we eat this kind of food because it's good. And we play this kind of music because we like to play it and we have a good time doing it. Surprising though, Robert.